there's a huge gift that you can give to me. It's not buying my courses or joining my programs, although I'm, of course, very grateful when people do. It's not even giving me a testimonial or a positive review, but of course, those also are greatly helpful. The greatest gift that you can give me, and it's not even just your attention, which of course I am very, very grateful because you could be watching so many other things, but the greatest gift you can give me is to tell me why you didn't buy something from me. Yes, let me say that again. The greatest gift that you can give me is to tell me why you didn't buy something from me that you saw me offer. Now, why is that such a great gift compared to buying something or giving me a testimonial? Or Because we service providers are often left in the dark about why something we offered didn't sell. If you're a service provider, you know what I'm talking about. You launch, you, you tell people about your services, you know, and friends and family are very nice to you and go, oh, congratulations. And oh, it's so wonderful. You know, it looks great. I'm sure, I'm sure you'll be very successful. And then nobody buys from you or not enough people buy from you and nobody prefers business to you. And you're just like, was there something I, about me? Is there something I said? Is this, what, what, what's going on? Why? Or if you launch an online course or launch a program, you're so excited about it. And maybe you even have a bit of an audience and nobody buys it or very few people buy it. And you're baffled. You're like, I really believe this thing is going to help be helpful to them. Why don't they see it? Why don't they get it? Here's the thing. It's not their fault that they don't get it. It's not your fault, right? I mean, think about me and you, right? It's, is it your fault that you didn't buy something from me? Of course not. Well, is it my fault? Not really. I don't want to assign blame to, to anybody. But the reality is that there is a misunderstanding. That's why there's no commerce happening if you're not buying from me. There's a misunderstanding. Now, of course, some people say, well, I can't afford it. Now, I know some of you are literally watching this in uh, situations where you're having a hard time even paying your rent or paying for food. And in those cases, of course, you should not buy anything from me. If you, if you, if you, if you are having trouble with your, with your basic sustenance or, or feeding your family, don't buy anything from me. But those of you who are okay paying rent and, and food and health care, um, you know, sustaining your family. And yet you're still telling me that you can't afford this thing that I'm selling. I'm grateful that you're giving me this gentle excuse, but I can't afford it often. And I find usually means it doesn't mean I can't afford it. It means I'm just being nice to tell you that I can't afford it because that's an easy way for you to say, Oh, I understand. I can't afford it really means, yeah, George, what you're providing isn't interesting enough for me to spend the hundred dollars or the hundred and fifty dollars or whatever it may be really I, and I you know it's okay <laughs> because and same thing I've, I've said often said oh I can't afford it I can definitely afford it but I can I say I can't afford it because what I'm saying is I appreciate you I like you but it what you're offering is not really the right fit for me but I'm, I'm too shy to tell you why not, because I don't want to offend you. So we service providers are often baffled and discouraged when people don't buy from us. And we're even more uh, confused and frustrated because we don't know why, because we spent so much time marketing our thing. We, 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 we put this service together, program together, product together, and then we, we spend time designing a, a cover image or writing the copy and, and sending it out to everybody. And we're so hopeful and then we don't get enough sales and we just, we have no idea why. And, and guess who holds the key to the understanding? It's you, you, the audience. You are an audience for me, so you can help me out, but you're the, also the audience for other service providers. So you can really help them out by telling them why you're not buying the thing. Now, there, like I said, there are two common objections I hear, right? That everybody hears, I can't afford it and the timing is not right. Neither one is really legitimate, like I said, unless, unless 
I can't afford it. You literally can't pay rent and food and healthcare. Okay, I get it. That's important. Or the timing is not right. I'm literally going on trip that week that you're teaching. That's why the time. But the timing is not right, meaning, well, the timing of my life is not right right now. That isn't very important for you to tell the service provider, the thing you're offering me is, isn't right for me because what I feel like I need at this time is this, and you're offering this. So I feel like I need this. I need to solve this problem or to, or to build this or to, to, to experience this before I am willing to buy your thing. Please let us know. Please let us service providers let it let us in on your thinking, true thinking, not I can't afford it, timing's not right. Let us in on the true thinking of why you don't think what we provided is right for you. It is such a huge gift, such a huge gift. So today, do me a favor and let me know of something you saw me sell recently that mm, not right for you or you can't afford it or timing is not right. Tell me really why. Okay, let's say that you could afford it and maybe that we'll turn it around. Let's say you really say you can't afford it. Okay, I have people who, who uh, I know this, who struggle with some basic things that still buy my thing. Now, I, yeah, I don't recommend it, but I'm not gonna tell someone who's prior, you, know, you should prioritize this or that. It's not usually, most of the time, it's not the case. But I, but I know that that's what I'm saying, the afford it isn't, is not really the right answer. So if, if you're telling me you can't afford it, I want you to ask yourself, if I could afford it, then why am I still not buying George's thing? Oh, timing is not right. Okay, if the timing were right, why am I still not excited to buy George's thing? Tell me why, because otherwise I don't know. Okay, I'm just left in the dark. Do the same thing with other service providers that you respect. So think about another you know, coach, mentor, consultant, small business owner that you respect and why didn't you buy their thing right I'll, I'll give I'll give a let's see here I'll, I'll give um, I'll give an example from the farmers market <laughs> I always like to use the farmers market as an example because it's very clear sense of product commerce so I walk by a stand that sells granola and I want to support them you know um, they happen to be a black owned business and I love supporting black owned businesses too. But anyway, I want to support them and I have bought their stuff in the past, but in, recently I haven't supported them. I haven't bought their thing. Not because I can't afford it. It is expensive granola, but 10 bucks for a granola bag, organic, you know, gluten-free, whatever. It's more expensive than I would get cereal at the market, but it doesn't matter. Um, I, I, I have bought it in the past and I would, but the reason why I walk by, I don't buy it is because I wish they had more of the sugar-free formulas. Like I wish they had more of those and, you know, and I don't, I just walk by because the other, other formulas are a little bit too sweet for me. But if I don't tell them that, then they can't make any improvements to make more of the sugar-free stuff next time and bring it to this market. If I don't tell them, you see what I mean? Like, but if I did tell them, I would be doing them a huge favor. To, oh, that's why people keep walking by because they think this one is too sweet. Got it. See that we didn't know. We thought people like sugar, so we put it in there because some people do buy it. But if we got the sugar-free one, maybe even more people at this farmer's market would buy it. That's why you need to do the same thing for me. Why aren't you buying, for example, right now I'm launching my video production, or not video production, video practice group. Why aren't you buying it? It's 120 bucks. Yeah, you can't afford it. Okay, maybe, again, if, if it's housing is a problem, food's a problem, I get it. But if you could afford it, why aren't you buying it? Oh, because actually, George, I'm not, what I didn't tell you is that I don't feel like you can really help me with my confidence issues. Oh, got it. Therefore, I need to refer you to somebody who can help you with your confidence issues. You know, see, you have to tell me, otherwise I have no idea, right? Is it because you didn't understand that it starts, you know, on a certain date and you, you just, you didn't, I don't know. You have to tell me, okay? So that's a huge gift you can give me and give to other service providers. And if you are a service provider, which many of you are, you know how much of a gift it is. Well, I hope, I hope you know how much of a gift it is when someone is honest with you about why their thing is not, your thing is not right for them. Now, you can proactively ask. You don't have to wait because not everyone is going to be so thoughtful. Most people are not very thoughtful about, wow, this is really beneficial to other businesses. Most people aren't that thoughtful. So you need to proactively ask. 
Okay, so you if, if a launch isn't going well, or if your service isn't selling, you need to ask your audience, hey, I would love you to do me a huge favor and let me know why this isn't the right fit for you. If you could afford it, if timing was right, why aren't you still excited about it? Okay, if you considered buying it but didn't, why not? What, 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 imagine a service or product that is like the perfect thing for you right now. What, what could it look like? What would it do for you? What would it be like? How might I provide that for you? Please let me know. Help me design a service or product that is the best fit for you. That would be a huge favor for me. That's what you would tell your, your audience. Does that make sense? Or, or at least tell a few of your, 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 your biggest fans. Uh, you could even ask them, hey, what did you buy? What have you ever bought that's related to what I provide? You, maybe you've bought some other kind of counseling or consulting or coaching or online course or you know, workshop or something else. You bought something else that was kind of similar. What did you buy? Because could I provide that too, do you think? Maybe I could. If I provided that, you probably would have bought it from me. I, maybe. Some people would have. So does that make sense? So, so do your service providers a huge favor and gent of course, when you provide the feedback, do it gently, do it kindly, do it do it with a preface saying, I, I'm providing this feedback because George Cow said that it would be really helpful for you. And I hope you take it in that spirit because I really want your business to, to thrive. And so this is, this is why I didn't buy it. And maybe this is what you could provide instead. So I hope this is helpful in your relationship to your service providers. I think the, those who understand the gift of feedback will be greatly, greatly thankful. And if, if they're not sure they understand, you could send this video to them or send my article to them. And um, hopefully they'll, they'll really, really appreciate this because it really can help their business. And it really can help yours when you ask for this kind of feedback from your audience. So I look forward to your feedback um, about any of my recent products or launches. Why didn't you buy it? Really, honestly, um, if you could afford it, if the time was right, why weren't you super excited about it? What could I have provided instead? that you would have been like, oh my gosh, of course I would have bought that, right? So I hope this helps and I look forward to your feedback and I look forward to hearing how it goes as you ask your audience for feedback as well and any questions you have about this process. I wish you well.